What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be using something that I don't use a lot or barely ever use. That is a jig. Stop. I barely ever use this because never caught a fish on it before. But today, hopefully we change that. Situation right now is it's kind of windy. Not the best jig weather, I don't think. And the water is super grassy. If you can see that, I don't know if you can. There's a bunch of grass in the water. Like back there, that green is just grass. It's grown up and then the duckweed is clung onto it. So anyway, stick with it. Stay tuned for the entire video. Um, it might be interesting and cause it might get interesting later. This right here is the jig I'm using today. It's, I don't know what kind of jig it is or anything. It's just a jig that I got from, where's my hand? Just a jig I got, oh, and it's starting to rain. Sick. It's more of a spinnerbait day today. Rain, I'm 99% sure I'm gonna switch to the spinnerbait. Actually, eh. These weeds don't exactly let the spinnerbait go through very well. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. If I get soaking wet. We'll try the jig for a little while. That's a log. Look at all this grass. That's the grass I've been, I was talking about. It's just everywhere. With the grass, what I like to do is just throw it right up beside the grass. Not like that. You can sort of find the grass line and toss it right next to it. I mean, I've been using a T-rig a lot lately because those don't get any weed stuck on them. So far this jig hasn't been doing too bad. Got a little bit of grass, but I haven't caught anything yet. Oh, that was a, that was something. Something took it. Okay. I'm feeling confident now. Okay, the rain stops. I'm not gonna switch to a spinner bait. Cast it right next to the grass. The fish are hide or this is what I think. Fish are hiding in the grass, waiting for something to swim along. This is most likely what's happening. They're hiding in the grass waiting for a little bluegill or something to swim along. So when you chuck it right next to the, right next to the grass where they're in, it gets them all excited. So this time it got a decent amount of grass. So these are weeds, not grass even. Or these are, this is some kind of seaweed. Not even grass. So it doesn't even catch grass. I'm gonna swim it right through this grass. Okay, it does catch grass. I mean, of course, if I swim it right through the grass like that, it should catch grass. What was I trying to do? Catch a fish? Yeah, I should probably get back to that. I'm getting blowed, blowed away. The wind's blowing me away. Oh, that's a log. Swam right over top. What was that? Fish just jumped right over there. Okay, I'm currently stuck on the log. Okay, I'm currently unstuck. Wait, I'm going to go up a little bit. Got unstuck from that log. Going out here, there's a lot of action going on out here. Most of it looks like little bluegills and stuff. I don't know if you can hear that right now. Oh, there's some bass. Just hit something. Okay, 
Yeah, there was a couple bass swimming right out there. 99% sure they ran. I did throw my bait in, or my, I did throw my jig in and they went right for it. I don't think they're there anymore. Who do you guys think is gonna win the tour? Tour de France. I am personally gonna say Primoz Roglic. Primoz? I don't know how to say it, but Roglic. Who do you guys think is gonna win? Comment down below in the place where you comment. Who do you think is gonna win the Tour de France? The day I'm filming this was stage five of the tour was earlier today. I'm gonna switch up to the frog, by the way. Stage five of the tour was earlier today. And Simon Yates is in the yellow jersey right now. Bum, 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 bum. Switching lures with Alvin. I'm gonna show you my favorite knot. It's the, no, not my favorite knot. I'm gonna show you the best fishing knot. It's the Palomar knot. Most of you probably know it. So what you do, you go in one way and out the same way. You have a loop over here, these two strings over here. Excuse me, sorry. And these two strings over here, and then you do an overhand knot with these two strings. You pull that tight. Now you have a big loop. Big loop. Put your bait through the loop, and you just pull right here. Cut the tag end off. And you're good to go. That is the best fishing knot on the market. So the jig didn't work out for me again. Just like every other time I try it. Mainly because I'm impatient. I don't usually use a bait for more than 20 minutes. If I'm not catching anything on it. It's getting a little bit windy. Blow me out to see. Oh snap. We might have a thunderstorm or a storm. Spring hearts. Okay. I think there was like a school of bluegill over here or something. Because there were like five wakes, five or six. Something running. Oh, see? There they go. I don't know if you can see it. There they went. Oh, snap. I need to get on bluegill duty. It's thundering. Let me just title this how to tie a palomar knot and then then we'd be good. Can't catch a fish. There's a lot of action out here though. I'm gonna position myself right in between this log and this log. And I'm gonna put down the on oh, that log out there. It's getting pretty dark out here. I'm gonna change the bait that I think this is gonna get it done. About five minutes. Okay, I just tied on old faithful. Of course, it's the weightless Texas rig. I got the Yums, Christy Craw or Krusty Craw, whatever. I have like five minutes before it starts pouring. Tops. I probably have more. But it's really dark here and it looks like it's about to rain. I should get off the pond soon. I just wanna catch one fish. But there's a little bat up there. You see him? It's just flying around. It's pretty lit. There's two of them, three of them now. Oh, come on. Okay, it was a bluegill. Took my bait. Let's see. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Go check out um, Stelsis Outdoors. Links to the channel in the description. Um, also, go check out my Instagram. Link to that's in the description. Go check out. Go check out Real Journey, link to his channel in the description. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't exactly much. So yeah, it's gonna rain.